Hello. Let's learn about the purpose, objectives and scope of the capacity management process which is a part of Vital Service Design Core publication. Purpose of capacity management are as follows. To ensure that cost justifiable IT capacity in all areas of IT always exists and is matched to the current and future agreed needs of the business, in a timely manner. Objectives of supplier management are Produce and maintain an appropriate and up-to-date capacity plan. Provide advice and guidance to the business and IT on all capacity and performance-related issues. Ensure that service performance achievements meet or exceed all of their agreed performance targets. Scope of capacity management are Considers all resources required to deliver the IT service, and plans for short, medium and long-term business requirements. Scheduling of human resources, staffing levels, skill levels and capability levels are included within the scope of capacity management. Now we will look into the sub-process of capacity management. Business capacity management. Business capacity management translates business needs and plans into requirements for service and IT infrastructure, ensuring that the future business requirements for IT services are quantified, designed planned and implemented in a timely fashion. Service Capacity Management Management, control and prediction of the end-to-end -end performance and capacity of the live, operational IT services usage and workloads. Ensure that the performance of all services, as detailed in service targets within SLAs and SLRs, is monitored and measured, and that the collected data is recorded, analyzed and reported. Component Capacity Management Management, control and prediction of the performance, utilization and capacity of individual IT technology components. Hope this video is helpful. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share your comments. Stay subscribed for more knowledge sharing videos. Thank you for watching this video.